Hi guys, salut les gars, welcome to Matman channel, bienvenue sur la chaîne de Matman. Today we'll continue basics math with trigonometry, that's episode 22. Aujourd'hui nous continuons les maths de base avec la trigonométrie, il s'agit de l'épisode 22. So, what is trigonometry? Alors, qu'est-ce que la trigonométrie? Trigonometry deals with the relationships between the size of angles and length of sides in triangles. La trigonométrie traite des relations entre les tailles des angles et des longueurs de côté des triangles. Trigonometry uses comparisons of the lengths of the side of similar triangles, which have the same shape but different sizes, to find the sizes of unknown angles and sides. La trigonométrie utilise des comparaisons des longueurs de côté de triangles semblables, les triangles semblables c'est des triangles qui ont la même forme mais des tailles différentes, pour trouver les tailles d'angles et de côté Inconnu. So let's have a look. First, let's talk about this guy. He's called Thales. Tout d'abord, regardons cela. Parlons de ce type qui est euh, qui s'appelle Thales. This is a pyramid. Ceci est une pyramide. And the legend uh, says that. This guy, Thales, was able to uh, compute the height of the pyramid just with his theorem. La légende raconte que cet homme, Thales, a pu calculer la hauteur de la pyramide uniquement avec son théorème. So this is Thales' theorem. Ceci est le théorème de Thales. Hypothesis, if you've got AH parallel to JI, which is true because AH is vertical, and G, JI also, because JI represent a stick that Thales dig in the ground. Donc, AH est parallèle à JI, ce sont les hypothèses en effet, AH est une verticale, puisque c'est la hauteur de la pyramide, et J représente le bâton de Thalès qu'il a planté dans le sol, donc à la verticale. Deux verticales sont toujours parallèles. So, if you've got this hypothesis, you've got this conclusion, which is AH over JI equals HE over EI, IE, sorry, equals AE over JA, JE, so that means this side over this side equals this side over this side equals this side over this side. Donc si on a ces conditions qui sont, euh, qui sont vérifiées, donc si les hypothèses sont vérifiées, alors on a comme conclusion que AH sur JI est égal à HE sur IE qui est égal à AE sur JE. Let's make an example of this. Let's make a draw. We've got this triangle with this. D'accord On suppose que l'on a ce, cette configuration-là. And we'll uh, compute the height of the Kefren pyramid. Nous allons calculer la hauteur de la pyramide de Kefren. So, let's suppose that this length is 2. OK And uh, this 
stick is one. Okay. And uh, this length is two hundred and eighty seven meter. Okay. So we've got Thales here. This is Thales. This is his stick. And this is the pie rabbit, Kefren Pyramid. Okay, so we can use the formula, which is DC over EB equals AC over AB. But we know this one is 1, so we've got 1. We know this one is 287, and this one is 2. So we get DC equals 133 and 43.5 meters. Donc, on applique le théorème de Thales et on obtient, en remplaçant par les valeurs numériques, que DC, c'est-à-dire la hauteur de la pyramide, est égale à 143,5. We can check here that friend pyramids and we've got 143.5 okay so that's it for Thales now let's have a look about what is trigonometry here we go when you have a right angle triangle you have this side, which is the opposite side of the right angle. It's called hypotenuse. Donc, lorsqu'on a un triangle rectangle, on a toujours un côté en face de l'angle droit qui est particulier qu'on appelle l'hypoténuse. But now, we have two other angles. So, if we have a look of this one, the green one, C, A, C, B, we can define the sinus like sinus ACB equals opposite side, so BA, over hypotenuse. For cosine, it's adjacent side, which is CA, over hypotenuse, which is BC. And then we've got tangent, which is opposite side from here, BA over adjacent side, CA. Of course, uh, opposite or adjacent depends on when you are, where you are. Donc, on a euh, la trigonométrie qui se définit avec sinus côté opposé sur hypoténuse, cosinus côté adjacent sur hypoténuse et tangente côté opposé sur adjacent. Mais bien sûr, les notions de adjacent ou opposé sont relatives et dépendent de l'où, de l'endroit où on se place. So, if we are here, the opposite side is this one and the adjacent side is this one. So, formulas are reverse. So, sine of ABC equals CA over BC like it was for cosine of ACB. Okay, we have switched. And cosine of ABC equals BA over BC, which is switch with sine of ACB. Donc, bien sûr, quand on change d'angle, quand on change de point de vue, eh bien, on a euh, une, un échange, en fait, entre les formules de sinus et de cosinus puisque le côté opposé de celui-ci était en fait le côté adjacent de celui-là. Voilà pourquoi les cosinus et les sinus sont inversés. And that's the same for tangent. Ok, let's go back to our triangle. 
and let's have some computation. If we say we have this configuration, if we have this triangle, and we have this side is 1, and this side is 2, and this angle is 63 degrees. So we can say that the triangle EBA. So what's the length of the hypotenuse? We can compute like this. Sine of E. So if we use all the letters, it's, sorry, it's AEB. Like this. Sine of this angle is equal to opposite side, so it's AB over the hypotenuse, which is unknown. Okay, no problem. We can compute because we can say that's equivalent to sine of 63 equals to 2 over. A E. So we can make a cross product like this because when you have nothing here, that's the same as if you were with one. So you can say that's equivalent to A E times sinus of 63 equals 2 times 1, but 2 times 1 is 2. So, oh, sorry. So we can have this by dividing by sinus of 63. We can have 2 over sine of 63. So now we can take a calculus and make this calculation. So let's do this. 2 divided by sinus 63, that's around 2.2. So now we know that this hypotenuse is equals to 0.2 over approximately. Okay, that's the use of the sine. We can use uh, the cosine to find the same same answer. Let's do this. If we use cosine, we can say that cosine of this angle equals adjacent side, so EB, over hypotenuse. So it's equivalent to cosine of 63 degree equals 1 over AE. So we can make the same calculus and we've got AE times cos 63 degrees equals 1, so AE equals 1 over cos 63 degree, which is equals, when we take a calculator, 2.2. You can check with your own calculator and you will find the same. Okay, now we can... Um, Compute the angle over here thanks to tangent. We can say that this angle, this, must, this unknown angle, is like tangent of A equals opposite side, which is EB, over adjacent side, which is AB, which is equal to 1 over 2. So now on the calculus, on the calculator, you need to use um, opposite tangent or reverse tangent. That means uh, that's reverse of this. Okay. And if you use this, you get. Uh, 26.6, so that's around 27 degrees. 
and we can check uh, doing the addition 27 plus 63 equals 90 and 90 plus 90 equals 180 degrees that's exactly what we need to have ok c'est fini pour cette première leçon sur la trigonométrie that's and that's yet for uh, this first lesson about trigonometry see you tomorrow à demain